Hello and welcome to uh, Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. I'll be playing a little sentence. Haven't done this in a while, so hopefully it goes well. But of course, I've done this build a few hundred times, so that's not going to be a problem. Teams have some pretty good players. And I'm going with a pretty aggressive one uh, mass extractor build. Here I can see the factories, I know when it's getting close to getting built. And of course, I'm going to build always a useful button. I'm actually going to try to grab this chunk of mass here, hopefully, whoever I'm facing. It's a Rambo, I'm not sure. Hopefully, he doesn't try to kill my engineer. First, uh, grab that just to not uh, not the mass stall. And also, going really far to the stop side avoids any rate that might come down through the bottom. Early really Celine for any prompts. I gotta grab these engineers, make some pigeons. This power is really critical. Get uh, about 15, 17 of these. The heck uh, do they want? Not really sure what that's about, but oh, it's happening. It's always nice to have a single button to grab any of your loose engineers. Another thing I like to do: assist the ground with one of these. So that it will either help the factory or help a pigeon, depending on what's available to do. So I'll give a little more orders to this uh, engineer. So in perfect case scenario, I should get qu quite a bit of mass. Of course, I'm using Zulon's hot build. Excellent mode, or uh, build mode. Gotta get these uh, tanks, hopefully win the tank battle. Come around the side, kill the engineer. That's really all there is uh, to the mid play. Get as much mass and kill the other engineers and don't get ran over. Like get some of the early factories really close to get them quick and then another group for the later spam. Like to mark my engineers. I'm getting really close to stalling on mass. Got to get the saline a little further up. So I know what the heck's going on. At this point, it's really nice to get a scout from allies. I get mostly tanks. Now I can see this uh, ACU from Rambo. He might be able to spot my NG, so I'm just going to cancel that. So this will look like it's a full uh, chunk of mass. Hopefully it screws them up later. I oh, don't want to do that. Yeah, so there's that engineer I wanted to get. And this is really nice. This engineer just got out. Oh, got to keep running. No, oh, okay, well, that Angie's dead. I'm actually going to change my orders here. So this is good. Rambo's going to get maybe a few hundred mass left over from that. Not too much. Also, like Raiders here in the corner. And against Artie, it's always good to micro. Here we might get some 2v1s. It's good to get behind these tanks. And of course, against artillery, as long as you change the direction, it'll have a lot of success. And then I'll just get out of there. One thing I haven't been doing is really upgrading. I want to get my allies as much mass as possible. 
and that also prevents me from stalling on power. Now one thing that's happening, my ACU is going quite low on health. Still alive, so I'm just gonna run away somewhere to start killing engineers. Looks like Rambo is just gonna retreat. Still quite a bit of mass left. Global chunks, never wanna just leave those, they're still mass. Looks like I'll end up with a total of two deck two mass extractors, which is actually quite low. So I may have to pause that. I gotta get some engineers to my ACU because I gotta do an upgrade soon. And uh, hey, that rock is still there, I don't understand. I gotta get an air factory. Never wanna neglect air, no matter what. And when you stall like that, get to pause all the all of the factories. Never wanna stay stalled. So let's see if I can actually afford, maybe after another tech to mask structure I can afford an upgrade. But I really can't afford any more factories. And you can see the Zulons mode uh, where you can build with a single, oh here, this is an important tag where we can kill something. With a single click you can pick any unit to build. Very convenient. I may just put a link for that into the description of this video if people are interested. It's getting quite a bit of units. They can get a little better and see depending on what's uh, what all that is. Looks like his ACU is upgrading here, which is going to put me in quite a bit of trouble if he gets that finished. All right, so. I'm just going to go full retreat after putting a bit of initial pressure and uh, get some upgrades on the ACU. I gotta kill that. Don't, don't die. Well, too bad. Four kills total for that early tank. And this is important, all this scouting, I can keep an eye on that ACU, so there is no trouble, no surprises. The one advantage I have, he's not using engineers to get his ACU. The upgrades, I'll use three, so I'll get those much faster. Of course, at this point, that just might power stall. Whenever there are power problems, get to pause that factory. And maybe I'll have to pause a little more factories as well. Grab my arty, do a little harassment. And really, at no point of the game, you should uh, neglect helping out some units. Always doing something. And once again, so get the tech two. I can get the other one very quick. I'll have to let the power get uh, rebuilt. I just stalled there for a second. And uh, get a couple more power storages. I'll probably get the missile or the nano later on. I'll wait for the power to re recharge before I go with the gun. And also, I probably would uh, like a couple more land factories for a big tech one land spam. That'll be my, my plan. You can see it takes uh, 24,000 power to get this, and I think I'll just go for it.
I really actually with tech two engineering don't really need to get too much help. It just caused me to power stall earlier. That looks like you'll have a power stall for a little while. Never want to fight with no raider, so I'll retreat. One thing that I gotta look for is uh once you get a couple more bombers, whether or not he's getting uh, some bombers. This is pretty crazy uh, from Smurf Hunter. Some nice bombing. Hiking on my team, of course. Uh, should be a pretty easy victory in this one. So now I got an engineering and gun. I'm gonna go fight. Get a little more artillery. I don't have already enough already in my in my army. That probably a lot more total power production. I want to get that bomber up front. I want to see exactly what's happening. Got a total of four mass extractors, so pretty low. Probably can afford another one. These bombers with the splash really did great damage. So what's going on here? A wall from Rambo. And a tech two point defense. Gotta take that out. That's a tech to raider, that's a great target. Go ahead and take that. So I think there is a little bit of lag. So one thing he's not doing is moving his units. You can see the artillery is just gonna rip them apart. And I'm actually chase him into the water. So now that I'm stalling on mass, I'm gonna stop all this. And maybe I can prevent them from going into the water and just end this real quick. So that's a GG with a Rambo. We gotta keep on moving. So at this point, I'm gonna get uh, pretty good pretty good power with the total uh, power storage that I got. I'm going to get the nano and I'm just going to keep on rolling. No, there's no reason to stop since there is given this game. We got a couple bombers do some recon. There is a bit of lag so we got to end this game quick otherwise it's just going to be annoying. Alright so there is a whole bunch of stuff moving my way. I don't see any tech 2. I get some tech two point defense. I'm having some mass problems. Not a lot of reclaim. So when I am getting the nano. Some of the good targets here would be some engine, uh, some raider. Yeah, I love these bombers. So I'll pause all my factories and get the now. This is quite expensive. Expect to stall my eco. Actually, it looks like I'm getting quite a bit of power bleed from other from my allies. So I can put a little more build capacity on my ACU. Once I get that, I can roll through. And another very important factor I'll need is Tech 2 for protection against the air. Yeah, that's a good call. I gotta kill that. Oh, that's a lot of great engineers, great targets there. I wanna kill those. Get a more 
build capacity on my bombers. And if he's not attacking, I might as well take the space if he gives that to me. And yeah, that's that's a place to bomb right there. That was eight kills. So he is getting TMD, which is not going to help him against the nano. I got to get some build capacity around my Tech 2 factory. So there is a couple Tech 2 point defenses, but most mostly TMD, which is good. Something I like to see. I gotta get some better insight for my ACU. So you can see the second nano would be great, but that's extremely expensive. This is the one Eisen had against the new Pride Rice in that game where he was overcharging experimentals. I think I'll start a tech to point defense. I won't actually finish it with ACU. Get the Angies to do it. And one thing about Tech 2 point defense from Seraph, I'm actually getting hit right now. I can't see it. And uh, Elshua here. You gotta take care of those with the overcharge. Still gotta be careful. Don't want to take too much damage. If I can kill all these tanks without getting hit by uh, the tech to point defense, it'll be optimal. So I'll retreat when I fight. Hopefully, he follows. Doesn't look like he's following. And that shield is something I gotta kill. So I'm gonna get my bombers to do that. And I'll go o through the top. Avoid the point defense. So there, there goes that uh, shield. Keep harassing with bombers. I would nano my re regeneration is quite good, so all that uh, health that I lost, I should gain pretty quickly. Got to save some engineers, and I think I am going to need a couple more. Uh, Take one land factories for artillery to break through this cruiser. That's always good support. And of course, the great thing is, even if I'm not winning this battle, I am taking uh, a lot of concentration from uh, Hakuto, who's also fighting a naval battle. Which means I get an advantage. I also give an advantage to Napalm instead of just uh, sitting back and teching. I believe that's always the better choice. Otherwise, it's just going to be a great eco for for Hawk that he can use to win the naval battle and kill me later with naval. And there's some strat bombers now from Icon. That's really going to help. And these tech to point defenses not disappearing, which means I can start moving in. If I have uh, all that mass, might as well get one of my mass extractors up. So one more left. I'm actually losing units here. I think I did see some Oshivas that I would want to overcharge. And I'm getting hit by some Tech to Bombers, good protection from uh, Icon. I gotta say my team is playing much better than the others so 
It makes it so much easier. No more tech to point defense, so I can go ahead and walk in. A little uh, mass stall, but I should get that back with all these wrecks. And you can see the game actually. Here you can see all the different uh, sim speeds, so some players, actually the players not in the game is the slowest but it also might be the connection that's slowing things down here and I'm just going to keep on rolling through, there's no reason to stop and I think this is going to be uh oh wow, what is these, why are they there? I may need a transport for those. I want, did I put those there? I, I, I don't think I did. That really confuses me. Still some mass problems, but that's alright. Gotta get uh, deep in somebody's uh, personal space. I'm gonna stop all that. And when you're attacking uh, these units, you got a whole bunch of bombers coming in. It's good to spread them to maximize the effect. There's a cruiser there, so I'm not really sure how effective this will be. There's a shield as well, so I'll probably have to uh, cancel that. Bomb somebody who doesn't have shields and cruisers, like all that. Excellent. So you get a nice rally point, three tech two uh, transports from Icon and load all those units up in there. And if they survive, they can do a little more as well later. That is going to stall me badly, but I should be getting a lot of reclaim. I'm expecting this to be pretty devastating. There is quite a bit of flak, however. Oh, that's still pretty good. It's always good to, when you're attacking, to spread the different uh, forces. And the ACU should always lead. That gives the troops more morale. I have big mass problems for me. Which is alright. So no point defenses, which is nice. I don't have any artillery here. That's a lot of flak, flares. I'll get all this tech to flak together with my ACU for emergencies. And get all these factories to all go all the way up right away. See what I'm looking at. If there are any spiders, that would be a problem. Actually, there is a spider, so I gotta go into the water. 
and then uh, I don't want to drop there so I'm going to switch that and I'll drop over here instead yeah I'm glad I saw that spider at that moment otherwise I'd be dead although it might see you uh, with the upgrade I have some hopes I get my mask back. It actually can take on a spider if uh, it tries to go against your AC. You got the gun, a couple overcharges, plenty of health, and a uh, couple arties can do quite a bit of damage to it. I don't want to go there anymore. Don't want to feed the spider for no reason. And it should be over pretty soon. Do I see a spider coming in? Still love to get that battle with the spider there. Maybe if we get a little assistance from strat bombers, I could probably take that out. myself to this mess. Looks like I finally don't have any more mass problems. Yeah, I think I'm getting chased. Um, I'm gonna need some assistance. Somebody just bombed it. Would give me give me a chance to kill it. Maybe I should just go attack it with all these units. If I attack, I gotta attack all at once. I just want I don't want to feed it one by one. There's an ACU mate. Well, that's gonna die now. It's because he just quit. So once it once it's getting bombed, that's when I'm gonna attack it. Yeah, there's some bombers coming in now. There goes Mega. All right, so I'm I'm gonna go go after it. Once it stops, it's going to get hit pretty hard. Don't die, please. Alright, yep. One more overcharge. So this is basically proof that spiders are made out of paper. There goes that spider. Great teamwork. Thanks for that help. <laughs> That's really funny. I can cause a paper as well. spiders so there goes hawk you gotta come back I need a T2 transport to get back 
into this game. Hawk is known for doing secret bombs, but looks like he finally quits here. So minute 23 at the end of this game. Hopefully people enjoyed this one.